Hi, my name is Peter Vogel, and this lesson today will teach you how to play country thirds in a country solo. It may prove useful to go ahead and print out the text or notation for this lesson ahead of time. We will also be using the Country and Bluegrass Let's Jam CD, so let's get started. Let's start with thirds played over a strict A major chord. In other words, we're staying strictly in the key of A major. This is what it would sound like on the first and second strings. You can use whatever fingers on your right hand you like. In this case, I'm using my index and middle. You could use a pick, fingers, whatever you like. Here, strictly in the key of A on the second and third strings. In the upcoming examples, we're not going to stay strictly within the A major scale. We're going to add some half steps or some chromatic tones. We might add a flat seven or a minor third, whatever makes it work with the country tune. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example over an A chord. Here's a second example over an A chord. Okay, I'm starting with my second and third finger at the 8th and ninth fret on the 2nd and 3rd string. Then I'm going to flatten out my 3rd finger across the 2nd and 3rd string at the 7th fret. And now a little tricky move, I'm hammering on from the 5th to the 6th on the 3rd string. Got a little bar action going on there with the 1st finger. So here's the whole lick. A third example over an A chord. Okay, I've got my second and third finger at the sixth and seventh fret on the third and fourth strings. I'm going to play those two notes, go down a half step or one fret, and go down another fret. That's the whole lick. And here's a final example over an A chord. I've got my first finger up on the 12th fret 1st string and my third finger on the 2nd string 14th fret. I play those two, slide down a fret, slide down another fret. Now I'm going to play the 9th and 10th frets on the 1st and 2nd string, slide down a fret, and slide down a fret. Sounds like this. or Now let's learn some licks or thirds over a D chord. This first riff is the same as the first riff over an A chord, but this time we're starting at the 7th fret. Here's riff number two over a D chord using thirds. In this case, I've got my third finger on the third string seventh fret and my pinky on the second string seventh fret. I'm going to play those two notes. Slide down a fret, slide down another fret. Here's riff three over a D chord. I've got my second finger on the second string 13th fret and my third finger on the third string 14th fret. Now I'm going to flatten out that third finger over the 12th fret and then I make a bar at the 10th fret and hammer on. Very similar to riff 2 over the A chord. And finally, one more riff over the D chord. I've got my second finger over the third string, 11th fret, and my third finger 
on the 12th fret, fourth string. I'm gonna play those two notes. Slide down a fret, slide down a fret. Now I'm going to have my first finger on the third string, seventh fret, and my third finger on the fourth string, ninth fret. Play those two, slide down a fret, and slide down a fret. It sounds like this. So now let's hear what these thirds or riffs sound like over track two of the Country and Bluegrass Let's Jam CD. Here comes the D chord. A. D. A. Well, that's our lesson for today on some country third playing. Hope you had fun and learned some new tricks. My name is Peter Vogel, and I'll see you again real soon.